Hello out there to you. In this video, I'm going to go through D2L, where everything is, how can you how can you access it, and uh, set you up for success in this quick class. So I'm logged in here into D2L as a student. Um, up here, if you click on, I'm going to just assume you haven't seen a lot of this stuff, so let's go through it. So we click on that little uh, waffle looking thing, and this brings up all of our classes. You can pin your classes that are currently there it's pretty convenient you can see i've got four right here those are mine uh, this is your class this is econ 201 principles of uh, micro and that's just what we call it so we call introduction courses uh, in the second week second eight week session there's your instructor there's me there's how you can email me okay uh, right here this is the announcement page this is where you've probably seen this announcement i will put a weekly announcement here uh, telling you what's what's due, um, put one more frequently if I need to make any changes or anything like that, uh, just to let you know this is how I talk to everybody. Um, I am happy to meet with you over Google Meet. So just ask me, tell me when is a convenient time to, for you to meet. And I'm in Tucson time, but I can uh, meet any, you know, mostly I can meet whenever uh, is a good time for you. So uh, ask now if you it's not that's not convenient uh, and you're near Pima, you can meet with a person uh, at the tutor at the learning center at any of the campuses. Uh, this is their schedule. Econ person's not always there, but th this is for all of your classes. So use that if you want to use the net tutor. It's also free. Don't don't pay a tutor. I know you can pay people online. I am happy to help you. OK, I am not. Uh, some students are afraid of asking their instructors. That's what they pay us for, and we want to help you. So, um, you know, please, uh, you know, please reach out to us. Okay. Anyway, there's your Google Workspace. Here's your calendar. There's me. You can see me right there. Uh, this gives you the updates. And then, if you need support, it's right down here. Okay. The bulk of your class is under content. So you're going to click on content, and uh, this gives you the table of contents, what, what everything is. Basically, I've broken everything up into eight modules, which are eight weeks. Now, it does seem like a lot of work or a lot of material to learn because it is, because you're getting a whole semester's worth of material in a um, uh, you know brief period of time, in an eight-week period of time. So um, that's that's what uh, that's what we're at, and I think you can handle it. So you know, just stick with. Okay, so. Uh, syllabus and course documents. We'll do the syllabus in a second. There's the syllabus. Um, now it's also telling you like what you've done, what you've clicked on, right? This is this video right here, but um, you can see it's checking that stuff off. Um, so uh, anyway, uh, here are the rubrics. There's the rubric for your real world paper. This is an example paper. So as you get closer to the end of the semester, you want to write that paper. Here's how to cite your sources with MLA. And this is the discussion rubric. Let's briefly go look at discussions here. So there are uh, seven discussions, I believe. Yes, seven discussions. Uh, the first one is just sort of an introduction. The second one has to do with some material. The, the first one is just a two-day thing. So it's like an introdu introduce yourself and, and talk about why you're here and such. such. Um, discussion two, you can see it's a whole week. So you're, um, what, what I want you to do is do your first post before Thursday. So it opens up on Monday and you have until Thursday. Um, that way other people can read it and respond to what you said. So we want to actually discuss. You're not talking to me. You're talking to other students. I will come through and grade it. But um, you, you're, you're having a discussion. Like if you were, imagine you were in a class with other people, you're talking to them. Okay. So your two responses need to be done before Sunday, but your first one, if you want to get full points, needs to be done by Thursday. Okay. So here are all the, uh, the discussions. And I got there by going to assessments, discussions. Okay. If I want to get to assignments, I go to assessments and then I go to assignments. I need you to uh, save everything as a PDF. So here are yours. If you make a mistake or something on your first, uh, submission, just let me know. And, um, or, or I mean, you don't even have to let me know. Just just post a second correction, and I'll just grade the one that you tell me to. So that's fine. Um, if something I don't grade late work, but if something is going on tragically, 
try to let me know beforehand. That way I can be flexible. It's hard for me to be flexible afterwards, after I've posted the answers. I'll post all the answers to all of these homeworks. Um, so, you know, I, I, I can I can sort of help you out if something's going on, but not after I've posted the answers. I know I said the same thing twice. It's not good. Okay. Anyway, uh, I want to come into quizzes. There's four quizzes. They are under assessments and quizzes. There's the introductory quiz. Hopefully you'll take that after doing this. Some of the answers have to do with this. Um, here are your four quizzes and you can see they have to do with those modules. So after you've done those modules, you can do those quizzes. Here's your final exam. There'll be a grade replacement opportunity down the road. Uh, looks like I need to fix the dates on that. That's no big deal, uh, but that'll open up down the road. All right, back to content. So how do we learn economics? Okay, um, so you need to do two things, just like you're in class. You need to um, do the readings, okay? So the, the readings, like if you were to come into chapter one, here's uh, one, two, three, four. So this is one way to read the book, right? You can click in on, on that. That's how it's uh, organized and everything. The other way to read the book is to go back here. This is what I would do. As you can see, that's the book right there. The other way to read the book, though, is to download the whole thing. So you could come in here. I clicked download. I did that really fast. Download the whole textbook as a PDF. Opens up here. Open Stacks. And I would just download the whole thing. We're not going to do every chapter, but uh, that way I, I could put it on my tablet and then I could you could actually sit down away from a computer and read it more like a book. That's what I would do. Um, I would also take notes while I was reading. That's a good strategy. Uh, but it's your it's your choice. If you want to go through the textbook uh, within the modules, you can also do that. So we're being flexible there. I've also put, this is sort of an alternative reading on on something that has to do with uh, the chapters. It's, it's um, Usually these are a little more concise than the textbook. So those are there. Here are the lectures and videos. Um, I will likely have redone uh, some of these. Uh, been suggested, uh, re, you know, re redo, condense some of them, um, and that's fine. So as you go through these, there's your readings, and then there's your uh, your lectures. I, I can't emphasize this enough. The, the the questions I'm asking come out of your understanding of the book and the, the lesson. So I've made these videos to help you. I'm, I've also written the questions or at least adapted them from other places. So that's uh, that's the way you want to use uh, and submit your, your assignments. Uh, let's see, what else do we want to do? I think it's pretty much close to it. Let's look at the, uh, there's a schedule right here. It's your eight week schedule. So if you like to plug things in on your own calendar, um, everything is already plugged into the D2L uh, Paul's calendar also, but you can, uh, you can put all that into your calendar, whatever works for you. This is the career paper details, so we'll write that paper as we get closer to the end of the class. And let's go through the syllabus. How do we get the grade that we want to get? And then we're on our way. Okay, so you're taking a, an asynchronous class, so it means it's on your time. Um, here's, if you need to ask me a question, this is a, a a number that rings my cell phone. It's a Google number, so you can get that. I have lots more videos that I'm not showing you in D2L. So if there's something you don't understand or you want a different example, a uh, different problem worked through, I may have already done it. Um, I just don't want to inundate people with, with too many videos because then some people will say, well, I'm not going to watch any of them because there's 500 here. So if there's something specific you're looking for, let me know. Uh, but that is my channel right there. All right, what are we? Uh, what are we up to? Uh, there's your textbook again. Here's your student outcomes. Okay, so the class is worth a thousand points. So if you were to get every point worth in the class, you'd have a thousand. But if you're trying to get an A, you only need to get to 900. Uh, your points build up. Okay, so as soon as you hit 600 points, you've earned a D. You'll never go backwards. As soon as you've hit 700 points. You've earned a C. You could do nothing more and you'd have a C, right? As soon as you hit 800. Okay, so what are all these things? Introductory quiz worth 18 points. Uh, you can retake it if you weren't paying attention, but uh, that should be a slam dunk there. It's four content quizzes. Those are those quizzes I showed you. They're worth 30 each. You cannot take them more than once. Um, so do your best. They are open notes. So 
go through those. Seven assignments, they're worth 50 each. Uh, so do your, do your best work. Type your own words. Um, you cannot cut and paste things from the internet. Okay, you can learn from the internet and learn from um, other people, but uh, you wanna use your own words because in the real world, you're gonna need to use your own words. You're gonna need to understand things quickly and uh, move through your career faster than other, other folks. So if you have to stop and constantly look things up, it's not, not going to be uh, efficient. Uh, career essay, 200 points. There it is right there. So it's pretty big. Then that one exam at the end. And then the, the seven discussions are right there. Okay, I don't take late work. But again, if you have something going on, let me know. There's sort of what the topics are on all of these. And I guess I'll say something about, oh, netiquette. Um, you know, be courteous. We've, we've really never had a problem with this, but it's okay to disagree politely. Uh, in fact, that's good. That's part of coming to college is learning how to disagree uh, in a good way, a positive way. Uh, and then, uh, so there are AI tools out there. I'm sure you're aware of them. Um, you, you can use them to learn from, just like you would be learning from Googling or learning from various YouTube videos that aren't provided in this class. However, you can't make that your own work. Right. So, you know, for example, let's say I was taking an English class and I was supposed to read uh, Catcher in the Rye or something. Right. I can't just go ask chat GPT what what's the summary of Catcher in the Rye and, or what specific, uh, you know, topics or themes in the book and then pass whatever it says off as my work. Right. Um, what you really should do is read the book and then, and then think about it. Um, but if you, after reading the book, read what ChatGPT thought, thought about it, um, you could agree or disagree. It's not always right, as you're aware. Um, so I expect you to use your own, um, you know, your own, own ideas. And uh, again, I'm happy to help you. Okay, so uh, you know, I, I, I will help you to work through some of this stuff if you get stuck. So don't just default to cheating, because as you know, uh, it is it is sometimes. Uh, sometimes not correct. So there you go. Uh, hopefully this video helps. Email me if you have any questions and have a great day.